Everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix your LAN cable not connecting or working on your PlayStation 5. Now, the first thing you wanna do is just check your modem here. Uh, unplug everything and then plug it back in to ensure everything is plugged in securely. And then also unplug this from the wall outlet for approximately one minute and plug it in and just do a complete restart of this to ensure that your modem and your connection isn't the issue. Now go over to the LAN cable that you're gonna be connecting to your PlayStation 5 and visually inspect this and make sure this cap is secured and all the wiring in here looks good. Uh, you might be using something that is very old. So some of these LAN cables I have sitting around, they're at least 20 to 25 years old and they're not gonna be good enough uh, to be using on my PlayStation 5 because they're just too out of date. So just look at them and visually inspect them because a lot of these get damaged over the years. And then plug it into the back of your PlayStation 5 and make sure this is a good connection. Now, if it's not secured and is connected, you should hear a click when you plug it in, uh, the indicating that it's uh, secured in there. If you don't hear anything like that, Maybe it's not plugged in all the way, so just make sure it's firmly plugged in. Now on our PlayStation 5, when we do connect a LAN cable, we need to go to settings right here and go to network, and then go to settings and go to set internet connection. And we specifically have to go to where it says uh, set up wired LAN. If you don't do this, uh, you're just gonna be connected to your Wi-Fi network on the top here. So make sure you go to wired LAN and you set this up with a connection. Now you can also go over the top of it and press options on it and then go to advanced settings right here and scroll on down to the DNS settings and go to manual and type this in 8.8.8.8 for the primary then go to the secondary and type in 8.8.4.4 press R2 and done and then go to the MTU and type in 1473 just like this, and then just see if this will connect now, and you're not getting any kind of error. So I'm connecting right now, and then you can just do a quick internet connection, and you can see if you're connecting to PlayStation Network, etc., uh, right here under test internet connection. So looks like everything is working under here. Now, another thing that we do is just check to see if PlayStation Network is down. So if this is down, we're not gonna be connecting to the internet regardless. So it looks like uh, we're not connecting. It uh, looks like everything is up and running. Now, uh, another thing we can try is placing our PlayStation to kind of issue that we're having with it. So hold down the power button once it's turned on. Uh, we wanna completely turn this off. And if we hold this down, it will manually turn off our PlayStation. And we have to wait for this to completely turn off. Uh, we don't want it in the safe mode, uh, into the rest mode. We wanna completely 100% turn off. So there's no lights flashing or anything right here. And we have to plug in our controller manually with a USB cable. And once the lights stop flashing, we can hold down the power button again and keep holding it down. And we will be launched into the safe mode menu. All right, so I'm holding this down and you might hear a beep or two beeps. So I heard that second beep, then press the PlayStation button and we should be able to operate the safe mode menu. Now under the safe mode menu, uh, we can do some things like a uh, repair console storage. Maybe there's an issue with the storage on our PlayStation, but we can go to option number four, update using internet and apply a fresh copy of the system software to our PlayStation. Uh, we can go to restore default settings. Maybe there's an issue uh, with the uh, internet settings on our PlayStation 5, and this is going to just reset everything back to the default setting. So that could fix those issues as well. Now, when you do this, it's gonna reset all your settings back to the default. So maybe you made some sort of adjustment with your audio, um, maybe your media gallery settings and stuff. And just a heads up, you're gonna be signed out. You're gonna need your email address and password, but this could reset any kind of settings that you have uh, done to the internet options. And then we can go to clear cache and rebuild database right here. And just clear the cache. I'll try clearing the system software cache and then rebuilding the database regardless. Uh, this could also fix your issue here. And then we can go to restart uh, the PS5. And then we can go back to the network settings and see if we are connecting now with the wired LAN cable. Now you could also um, completely forget your uh, network and then try re-adding it. That's something we didn't do before. So if you go over your currently connected internet and press options on it, uh, there will be an option to forget it. And then you can go back down to wired LAN 
and then re-add it in there. Otherwise, just go to wired LAN and you can add like three or four different wired LAN connections on there and only be connected to one at a time here. So let's type this back in and then go up to the settings here and select settings, go down to where it says network now, go to set up internet connection. And if I go to this, you can see I can go to forget. We can completely remove it from our PlayStation and then we can go to networks found and re-add this. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on your six studios.